you legal notice that you're being recorded and I might use them um, for YouTube, you know, like a bit of a promotion. Oh, yeah. oh, my eyes there. OK, so um, just for anyone that does watch this later, they can always join this uh, joint piano lesson. Um, there'll be a link in any video description below the, the video uh, to join us and uh, get some piano tuition as a member of Music Online UK. Um, Rachel, what would you like to play for us this morning? Um, would you like me to attempt Jingo again so you can hear me? Yeah, we could have a listen to Jingo. Now, this is from the last year's Grade 8 syllabus, isn't it, Jingo? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Right, when you're ready then, Rachel. Right, could you turn your volume up a little bit? Okay. You're very quiet. Let me just check this. Is that better? Bit more, bit more. OK, we'll, we'll do that, OK? So pitch wise, you're pretty accurate on most of the notes, all right? But the, the rhythm doesn't stay steady. Can we just try bar two into bar three? Just that. Just want to keep it steady, like a da, 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 da. It just needs to be more clock-like. Try once more. Sorry, can you just start again, because I was talking at the same time when you started. Yeah, so right at the end, I don't know if it's because um, you're panicking about getting down to that bottom C chord, but it tends to sort of go short on the very last quaver, like a... Da dum, it's a dump bomb, just steady. Well, one, one more try, and um, it's just the very last quaver more than anything, it's rushing. So, I'm rushing before I get onto it, or rushing after it. You're rushing the last quaver onto the third bar. Oh, okay, sense. yeah, right. No, it's too fast. It's too fast at the end. 
Yeah, now that's steadier, okay? Obviously, we'll go a little bit faster when we get there. Um, a couple of other little places that tend to rush. 27, I wrote down here. Um, what's 27? Yeah, just try and keep these steady as well. Whoops, I'll try again. And just keep the quaver steady. try 36 now here's another little place um, maybe go from 35 yeah i got in the bit of space. sorry because, because i get the um, the rhythm wrong on 38 i'm panicking about this whole thing yeah but that's the whole point the, so. the psychology of just staying calm if you panic about something it'll mess something else up yeah where do you want me to go from sorry to start it's just easier to start the phrase at 35 i think <laughs> The end there, sorry. Um, the first one was quite steady, all right, that's okay. Um, but then the last time, um, these it gets a little bit panicky there on the end of 37. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's because I normally slip, that's why. Go on, let's just try it again. a bit steadier okay yeah. so in general just try and stay calm and just build up the tempo from a, a point of control if that makes sense yeah don't I've just been, panic and I've been working on 42 that last note <laughs> yeah um do you want to try 42 again just the very last yeah, one I'll just, I'll just go from And I, yeah. I, keep, I keep putting my foot on the pedal, I don't know why. Yeah, because it is staccato, isn't it? We don't want to pedal there. Yeah. Um, I think rhythm is more important than pitch on that very last note. If you're over cautious, just to make sure you get the right notes, you know, you've got to... And then you wait, whatever the note is, C. <laughs> yeah, it's too slow. If you just go for it... And hopefully hit the right one it's still better to i think play the wrong note with the right rhythm than the right note with the wrong rhythm <laughs> yeah. okay go on let's just try that last bar one more time ah hang on right. okay. you're rushing before you get there again you see you're you're anticipating the fast notes and you're going faster before the fast notes You can speed it up later when everything's under control. Um, and Terence, what did you have for us? You're muted. I'm mute. We're going to do the Page album one. Oh, the Page album, Page album, and from last year's Great Sit, wasn't it? Debussy. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Love Debussy. Um, that's B two, isn't it? Okay. Whenever you're ready. You've taken your camera over to the piano, are you? If yeah, you can hear the piano better. Yeah, do you want to... Oh, you're sitting like that. All right. Do you want to move the camera either down to the keys or to your face or something? Because you've got a lovely view of your bookshelf. <laughs> OK. Um... It's not that important, but, you know, it's nice I think to see you. here because it's... Uh... Okay, that'll do. That'll do. We can see you. We can see you playing now.
Right, let's have a little look at the last four bars, first of all. Can you notice the staccato? Um, the last four bars. Yeah, so we've got these staccato notes in the left hand on the second beat. Oh. Rest. Oh, I see. And then, in the last two bars, okay, look look back actually at bar 34. It says très retenu. So it's really slow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then mouvement is a little bit like the Italian a tempo, as you can see in bar five. It's a translation of a tempo. So we're going really slow. And then bounce, rest. Slow with your pedal, bounce. And then faster. Oh, I didn't notice staccato marks. <laughs> yeah, okay. We just try that last line, which is très retenu. Sorry, I should have played the last two bars PPP. That's a bit loud. <laughs> You're shorter on that bottom note. So you're going to hold your pedal on the chord and then you release your pedal immediately as you hit the D. Bop. Hey. With the right hand still holding. with the last two bars to get them a bit faster yeah um, and again I think it's familiarity as well with a lot of the hesitations in this piece there's quite a lot of places where it just gets stuck mm. yeah so let's have a little look at bars three and four those are one of the bigger hesitations there okay. okay. Slower. Yeah, Slower. so we need to pull back there a little bit. Okay, all right. Now, um, the melody as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we're going to bring that out, and then these lower right hand notes are not supposed to overpower the top A. So if you listen, now listen up for the A. You can still hear it. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice firm little finger there. Or third finger swapping to the fifth. That's another bit. And that's just familiarity. Now, I know it says en serrant, which means hurrying, yeah. mm -hmm. but you've got to get it under control first and then speed it up. Oh. Yeah, and by under control, I mean without any hesitation. Dum, bum, 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 bum. And when you can do that, maybe use a metronome to build up the tempo a little bit. Yeah? Okay. Right, yeah. now let's have a little look at pure anime. Again, it means faster, but we're not going to do it faster. <laughs> Okay. Where is the melody? Bar twenty-three. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay. So it's the right hand, isn't it? The, the melody is the lower right hand. Okay. But when you get the quavers. Try to rush them. It's just a steady, very even length. If you want to slow it down, that's fine. All right. Okay. Yeah, they hit it. it da da da. It was too quick. Da, da, da. You're like oh. rustling the last three there. <laughs> Let's go from 25. Just equal length, everything. We're playing too fast, so let's go slower. See hesitation. That's getting closer, yeah. Always aim for rhythm first, yeah, and then. Just bring the speed down to whatever you need to so they don't have to hesitate. Um, let's see. Now, the bit after that rubato, we've got to watch these rests as well. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah? Yeah. So Yeah, the hang, yeah. yeah, so you let go of the chord when you get to the bottom C in the right hand, yeah? Off of the chord. Off of the chord. Off. Now, sometimes when you say off with the chord, that's just your foot letting go because you might have held it on the pedal, but you mustn't have the pedal going over the bar line. Is that common? Is that normal procedure? Well, no, no. It's just yeah. in this case where there's a rest on the bar, like on the first beat of the next bar. Yeah. Ah. So we've got. Yeah. Now there's a rest on the next bar, so we're going to release the pedal, which will release the chord as well, and then you can put it back down straight away. Release the pedal, and again release the pedal. Those four bars are a little bit tricky there. Actually, it's the previous four bars as well. have got the same idea of that crotchet rest on the first beat, haven't they? Yeah, that's, yes, it does. So I've got to release the pedals, stop the L. Yeah. Well, you don't want anything hanging over from the last bar. That's all the, the, the idea. So in other words, really, when you've got rests at the beginning of a bar, then you must release the pedal every time. Is that right? Yeah, well, I mean, a rest is there for a purpose. Yes. It's for that note to stop playing. <laughs> the previous note. Are you holding down the other note so that'll keep Yes, up. so you've got to do the maths and work out which notes are still sounding, which ones are not. <laughs> oh, it's a very intricate process. And Debussy is very, oh, very de detailed. Because, okay, another thing, if you look at 27 and 28, you have a staccato on a minim. Which is a weird thing to start with, isn't it? How can a minute yes. be staccato? Well, the, I'll save them, put it in the rest, I suppose. <laughs> well, a staccato dot, literally in Italian, the word staccato means detached. It doesn't mean necessarily bouncy. So it's not, it's just detached. Mm. Yeah, that's the literal meaning of staccato. Now look at 29, there are slurs. You see? So Debussy is saying, right, the first two bars, I want the 
left hand to detach. Detach. And then slur. Details, yeah? Very fine little details. Debussy's, Debussy's quite sort of um, precise about exactly how he wants it played. Can we try those four bars? So the first two we're going to detach the left, and the second two we're going to slur the left. Well, I think about this. Right. Just, just play with the left hand. Just, just do the left hand on its own. And then 29. Keep that one going. Yeah, that's it. You can keep that one going because it's slurred. All right. Okay. So hopefully that's been a little bit of a pointer in the right direction. Yeah. We could visit this one again next time we have a, a joint lesson. Uh, yes. Are any of you around for the next session that I've got in the calendar for the Wednesday? I'll be I'll be available. Um. What time did I say on the Wednesday? Let's have a look. Wednesday. It's, uh, um, it's a morning one. Oh, no, it's an afternoon, midday. That's it. Mid midday UK time on the Wednesday. We've got another one of these members' lessons. So, you know, if you want to carry on with this particular uh, piece and um, make some more progress on it, and Rachel as well. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you around on, on Wednesday, Rachel? I'm, I'm hoping to. I have somebody arriving. Um, I don't know exactly what time. It's around about lunchtime, but I'm hoping I'll, st I'll start the lesson anyway and see how we get on. Thank OK. You. All right. We'll see how it gets on. Right. We can now see uh, Terence's really messy bookshelf. In <laughs> <laughs> Inside my embarrassing untidiness. <laughs> oh, that bookshelf looks tidier behind you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right, so hopefully that was useful and um, we'll see you on Wednesday then. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Cheers then, bye-bye. Bye. -bye.